Hey, what's up, dear friends and viewers? My name is Trofinet, and welcome back to Prey. We're still in the cargo bay where most of the survivors seem to be holed up. Uh, last time we also realized that we could actually use cargo, uh, well, leverage three, and of course the other leverages as well, to do damage. Which is, yeah, it only took us, what, 16, 17 parts to get to that conclusion? Which is ridiculous, but uh, at least we're doing damage like that now as well. Um, I might as well, can I, can I just put that away? Our ranch might, might be less threatening to uh, Sarah Alazar. So, hello, hello. Morgan you. I'm surprised you escaped Simlab. Yes, I knew about that. I checked the shuttle logs when the rumors about you being demoted started circulating. All I found was you checked into the sim lab, but never signed out. Not sure you could, but it seems you've escaped. Just like these creatures of yours, the ones your brother said couldn't get free. Wish I had better news. We're holding out here, but just barely. These standard issue PPNs might as well be cap guns for all the good they do to those things. Only way back into Talos is through Cargo Bay B, and that's locked tight for our safety. And yours. You want the code? Help us fortify things here. That means eradicator turrets, and lots of them. To do that though, we'd need fabrication plans and a working fabricator. And both of those are out of reach at the moment. The fabrication plan is in the safe in the security office. But the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look. I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. We could try and get out of here, of course. We're still banking on the fact that we're going to destroy the station, but what is going to happen to the people here? Remember, it's the Eradicator Fabrication Plan we want, not the Reployer Plan. Whatever the hell a Reployer is. Wait a second. We've heard about Reployers before, Igwe but we don't know... Figures he'd survive. What that actually Dumb does. Luck, I suppose. Oh, and Dr. Igwe is now over here for some reason. That's a bit weird. So we need to place turrets. If we you found find a way one out of already. Here, take Dr. Igwe with you. Maybe he can be of some help. Okay, okay, Sarah. Elsewhere. Thank you. So why don't you like Dr. Igwe then? Um, she also Any brings up those an interesting point that we escaped, but we kind of only escaped because of the typhoon, not despite of them. Which is weird. I almost feel like January might be responsible for releasing the Typhoon in the first place. Which would be weird. There's a few fried hard drives over here. So we need to fabricate a plan for the turrets. Although I feel like we already found that before. I can actually check that in my inventory. Eventually find a way in here if we don't take the fight to them. I don't I don't see that in my inventory, but I know you can see that when you're at a fabricator. Ooh, four neuromolds. That's a lot. Uh, um, thank you, guys. You didn't need to... Wow, she's gonna whack my Igwe in the face. My specialty is neuromod engineering. But if there's some other way I can assist? How, how would you be able to assist? Psionics. So true, isn't it? What these aliens can do, what we can do. To think it was considered chicanery, flimflam, pseudoscience, made me quite the target for mockery. But your brother, your brother, he believed. And so did you. At least, you did before your self-experiment in the sim lab. Okay, so we did believe it, we kind of knew that already. That we believed in the experiment, and there's another transcript here from Kevin Haig. Let's listen to that. Haig, are you there? Chief? Yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice dinner, all right? Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Hmm. Okay. They wanted to treat the pianist nice. Uh, there's probably a map for the... Yeah, there we go. So that's downloading the map of the cargo bay, which is always handy. There we go. 
So a lot of large areas, uh, especially one floor down, because we're of course a level up. And even over here, I think there's a few the staging area. Did we go over there? I think, yeah, we did. That's the catwalk. So we've seen everything on this floor, but not of course on this floor, which has at least five enemies. And now we have a note. Please relay the following to the security crew at the next staff meeting. Earthside sent a very good appraisal of our provisioning and cargo staff during last month's visit by a board of directors member. Talos cargo staff performed admirably during the inspection. Well done. Keep up the good work. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But we did find one turret already. I've set that up at the... Um, the entrance here, so that's the, the turret I set up. So there is a power panel over here, since so we cleared out the first ooh, area. Oh, the power panel is at the other side, or is it on this side? No, it's on the other side of that area, and there was at least a mimic over there. So the power, wait, where's the power panel? Ah, the power panel is right over here. That was a mimic, and this was also a door I couldn't really open. So, cargo power control. Does that mean that I need to go along the outside? This is still unpowered as well. There is, however, this area. And there's a turret in here. We had a weapon upgrade kit, so that's always nice. So, let's carry this thing. These Transtar PPN-8 pistols are mostly for show. They don't do much against the attackers. There we go. With the eradicator turrets, we have a Place chance. One more turret. Okay. There might actually be another one in this area, but for some reason I can't access this area. Because we've been in the left one here. We've opened up this one. But I don't know how to enter the one on the right here. It doesn't seem to have a whole like the other one a hole in the ceiling so no idea how i'm gonna get in there i mean to fulfill the objective i could technically just use you know this turret and fortify the other side with it like that so if i carry this bad boy and place him over here we have three turrets there we go Hopefully that medical operator's ready to go, because we're going to need it after this. Um, are they going to open up the door, if, or am I going to? The ATs are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Oh, Here's the code for Cargo God. Baby. Hell, Dad. You men ready? We only get one shot at this. No sense waiting Let's anymore. Let's do this. Well, lock and load, people. Fight? I, have, I have a quick Let's save option. I'm ready to rock and roll. I have a quick save option, so if you guys don't feel Anything comfortable about this, that door, fire. Don't let the eradicators do all the work. I'm gonna There's have to stay out of their way as well. Look at now this. This is cool. Here we go. Damn PPNs. These small magazines are for civilians. Two, four, and three. Get out! Get out! Get out! Ow! I killed the weaver. There are, there are people on fire, but... Was that it? Holy crap, that was... Okay, somebody died. Austin died. Ooh. Sorry, Austin. Um, oh, Austin, you're with the angels now. <laughs> Probably making them all devils. They have dialogue for him. I'm gonna Austin. listen to his transcribe. You stupid son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Always gotta prove I'm sure he made Typhon organisms are all over the place. So I might be able to... No, the recycler's part of it. We need more firepower than just our PPNs to cut our way through. We'd need eradicator Darth. turrets, and that's why we need so the recycler and the fabricator plans. Huh. Should've spoken Catch 22. Mind. What? Well, you know, chicken and the egg. Which came first? You can't have one without the other, so... Austin. Yes, yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Look, it doesn't matter, though. The power's down in here. The Class 4 power circuit, the blast and fuel storage must have damaged the connection. Hold on. Keep positioned by the catwalk. Morgan, you may be joining us shortly. 
Keep an eye out for her. Morgan? I thought I felt a chill. Didn't we have an inspection just last week? Send her to me. And stay alert. Okay, so that gave us a lot of materials. And it appears that Sara actually knew that we were coming. Um, she has, of course, a security terminal nearby, so she could track our progress a bit, but still a bit weird. And we have a transcript for Ash Lazare. Lazar? Lazile? Lazare. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Lazare. Can explain to me why there's a delay with my parcel? Sorry, Dr. Berger. The system shut down. Some kind of failsafe trigger? We're working on it. That parcel is extremely sensitive. I need it in psychotronics right away. I have a crew investigating the point of failure on our side as we speak. ETA is probably a few hours. A few hours? Isn't there anything else you can do? No. But since you have some time, you could call Mr. Yu and ask him for permission to reboot the entire space station. That would fix the problem immediately. That would be ridiculous. Well, since being ridiculous is off the table, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to wait. Maybe I'll check into it myself. I've trained for microgravity. Knock yourself out. Okay, so that was about a package for psychotronics that never got to its destination. This thing seems to be empty. I'm trying to open up all the containers. I wonder how far this actually works. Because I feel like every single thing is technically openable here, which could get us a lot of loot. But first I want to try and turn the power back on, because I'm out of inventory space. And I think I just got the key from the dead guy, the guy that died, Austin I think his name was. Uh, okay. That's not a turret. Or is it? It isn't. Okay, so I'm out of inventory space. I really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and open up the other door first and turn on the power. Uh, also need to heal. And aside from healing, we can also upgrade our, uh, well, our guns a bit further because we have six weapon upgrade kits. So that's gonna be nice. So I think I'm gonna upgrade the Q beam, uh, power even more, and the firing time as well up to eight seconds. So there we go. Two nice upgrades for that. And then we're gonna keep on stuffing the stun gun with all those really fancy uh, upgrades there. So, 9 seconds of stun time, which is great. And then um, the range up to the maximum. There we go. So that's up to 15 meters. And then I could go into the recharge range if I wanted to get the trophy. Because uh, there is a trophy for upgrading a weapon to the maximum. You know what, I'll start working towards that. I don't have the use for the... Well, the weapon kits don't really have another use for me right now. So that's fine. There we go. Let's open up the door with the greater mimic behind it. Okay, so power control doesn't have... I forgot about that. It doesn't have a key card, but... Oh, I can actually open up the door with force power because I probably have leverage three. So let's force that open. There we go. And now we need to kill that greater mimic. Don't know what it's doing. There we go. And I think that's the only one in here. Although I should probably be sure. So... Taking the organs. I don't think this thing even detects greater mimics. So I'm gonna have to just keep an eye out. Oh wow. This place is a bit bigger than I anticipated. So, I'll get back to you soon. I'm first going to turn on the power. So, turn power on. There we go. There we go. That's that. Okay, so now that door is probably powered on. Um, which means I should probably try and do something about this. Okay, now. It's not doing anything. Great. Great. Don't need to fire up uh, boxes into phantom spaces then. Okay, so that means the fabricator and the recycler is gonna be A-OK. -okay. There we go. So, oh look, the people are starting to spread out a bit as well now that the power is on. So, recycle. That's a nice metal number, isn't it? It's 22.5. That's gonna be nice. Ooh, nelly. Always nice to grab that many materials, but that also means we can actually, I think, 
So we have weapon upgrade kits. How much does that cost? Incoming shipments from Earth have been temporarily Obviously a bunch, a bunch of metal. Personnel are directed to clear up backlog deliveries hmm. until notified by a supervisor. How is my neuromold situation? I actually have six at the moment, so that could get us to hacking three. Uh, or with two extra, we could get repair three, finally. Which is probably better. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna make two more neuro molds. There we go. We have plenty of materials. No need to worry about that. Taking us up to a repair tree. There we go. So now nothing can be repaired by us. So increased efficiency with spare parts and suit patch kits as well. So that's gonna be that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna have to start focusing on the well spare parts as well. Um. What else do we have here that I would want to have? There's five null wave tran transmitters in my inventory. And I think I can make EMP charges here as well. But I still have seven. So that's fine. I'm going to make another batch of shotgun ammo. Uh, just because I... Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. But there we go. Shotgun shells. That was what I wanted to do. God damn it. That's a bit of a waste of materials. But I can dismantle it in a second. So that's not... Too much of a problem. And maybe one more, one, one weapon upgrade kit. There we go. That is really cool that you can just make upgrades like that. So the upgrade kit into the power of the Q-beam. That's gonna be a great help for if you need to deal with multiple big enemies at once. And then I can put the shotgun in the recycler again. That gets us 1.2 metal back, so it's kind of half of that we get back, so. So, the area over here is still not openable, which is a bit weird, but... I can open up most of the containers just manually, which is fine. Should probably take a shotgun. Uh, I can jump over this, right? There we go. Don't need to lift that up or anything. Like this. And another suit repair kit. So I'm just ransacking the place for now. Just exploring and seeing what I can get. So there we go, open up another locked container. Uh, with a lot of weapon supplies, that is awesome. That's ammo for pretty much every gun. And there we have another dead guy, Christopher Smith, with another neuro mod. So don't mind if I do. I can open up this thing. I'm gonna have to check this out, because I think this is where the etheric phantom is walking around. And it looks like there might even be a weaver here. Um, but that's the etheric phantom. Could try and ambush it. Hello! He's on his ass. There we go. So throwing things is really, really effective. Oh, sorry, forgot about the etheric damage. The ether damage. Okay, so that's the etheric phantom down without a hitch. Just a few shotgun blasts in the face, and he has a few nice materials on him as well, including spare parts. And now we can open up this door from this side. Everybody's happy. Where does this go? Life support. But we've been there already. Not for any quest, but we've been there already. Okay, what was that? There's definitely something around here. One of these is a mimic. Pretty sure, okay, no. Apparently not, lots of spare parts though. But I did hear, I'm pretty sure I heard a mimic. I heard something at least. This place is big, what is this? Director level lockdown. It's blocked. Okay, so director level means that Alex probably locked this thing. Which means he doesn't want to see us checking that out. That's a bit weird. How... How does this work? I mean... Oh, that's inside of that area, okay. Fair enough. And this of course leads to a weaver, probably. Let me check that out then. If there's a weaver still out and about, I need to kill it. Ah, but this is locked. So that's not going to help us much. Why am I here then? Why am I here? Just floating in coral. Doesn't seem like there's anything here for me. 
Can I open up that door though? Might kill myself if I open up that door. If any of those pieces of cargo end up on my head, I'm gonna be... Oh, wait. What's this? What's this? A maintenance panel. Okay. Maybe I do get to kill a weaver. Ow. I have no idea where we're going at the moment. I'm just going with the flow. Okay, so we could access guts from here, but the station is in lockdown. But where would that lead in guts? Where would that lead to? Oh, that's a suit repair kit for me, though. Okay, moving back. I'm back through the seal upside down, so this is gonna be weird. Whee! There we go. Okay. Don't need to sneak, I think. Because we're pretty much fine at the moment. Um, there are a few containers here. So this one I could open up. But maybe the other one has a keypad. Which means I need to go back to the terminal. Remember the number. And open it up like that. It doesn't. Yeah, it has a keypad. So that means I probably should just check the number. That's easy. 3232. 3232. And then I need to press OK. Because otherwise it doesn't actually open up. There's definitely a few items in there, but oh, what the f... Ah, that's a dead guy, okay. But why is he dead? Um, he has a lot of items. And he tried to eat a few of them as well, but... Q, I can't thank you enough for the risk you're taking on my behalf. On behalf of the volunteers who no longer have a voice in this. The thought of you cooped up in that cargo container hurtling toward the earth... It kills me, even though Will says it's safe and that he'll have plenty of food. I know the evidence on this thumb drive cannot make amends for everything that's happened, but exposing the truth can prevent it from happening again. Thank you, my friend, AG. And this is Quentin. So this, this is Q. There's the whistleblower, so for that, the end of that quest. But he has a, an orange item. Annalise Gallegos' thumb drive. Except from the README text file found on the thumb drive. The drive in your possession contains incriminating evidence related to illegal experiments performed aboard Talos 1 at the Psychotronics Lab. This includes, but is not limited to, classified internal memorandums, key research data spanning several decades, names and roles of all personnel involved, volunteer ideas matched with their real names. This information will be corroborated will corroborate the existence of an extraterrestrial species called Typhon as well as the fact that all neuromods are made at the expense of human victims. I harbor no illusions that this will be easy to believe, but I can testify to its veracity assuming I am still alive because I was a participant in many of the experiments referenced. And there we go. What do we need to do with that now? Or is that just the end of the quest? It is. Objective complete. Okay. It's a bit weird, but uh, let's eat the pudding. Let's eat the pudding. Plenty of other food over here. So that's the end of the whistleblower quests. Which ended in a bit of a sad note. And we have this lower level. Uh, there seems to be a few items over here. Or not. No. This is just to waste my time, apparently. So that clears that up, which means we only have the area behind this one left. So the cargo power control station leads right into this area with the blue flames. Which I shall now dub Blue Hell. This doesn't look good now, does it? There's an engineering operator over there. But for now, that seems to be it. Can I plug this with the glue cannon? Wow, okay. The fire is too heavy to actually extinguish. So I'm gonna have to try. I get... Can I go underneath that without seriously hurting myself? Nope, 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 I can't. Okay. Okay, so that means I need to go across. So, took some food, and now... That gets us over. And then there's... Ooh, Gus Matchell is still on fire. Uh, he has a note, though. 
Locked out until I update my credentials. How about Reploy Reploy? I won't forget that anytime soon. Okay, and then a transcribe. Hey Lace, this is Gus down in cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any Reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine? What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I, I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. You obviously don't understand what I do. And I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. But ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so that called us across, but I don't know what I'm actually looking at here. Can I fix this? There's a few items here, but it seems like I can also go higher, and there's another corpse up there. So I think I might be able to get to him or her. So Diane Washington, no extra information on her, but that gets us... Is this back in the main area? It is, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So that means that there must be something in between those fire things. Something exploded over there. But I don't know how to fix it just yet. So using the elevator that Diane was on, I can actually get higher. And there we go. That gets us on top of a green pipe. So I'm going to keep my eye out for more items. There is an even higher shell, but... I feel like the green gas is probably not good. So if we try to fix this. There we go, that fixes that. And I think the green gas should dissipate then. What is in here, by the way? Corrosive. That's not good, it's gonna kill my suit. So even at the top level of this place, I don't really see a way to fix any of this. There's this box over here, I don't think I checked that. There's not a weapon upgrade kit in here, but otherwise... I don't think there's anything here, so... That means... We're pretty much done with this area, aside from maybe a few more... Uh, containers that I can open up. Not 100% sure about that, but it seems like... Those might actually be hiding some things. So I can open that up... Like this. And that is holding another toolbox with more spare parts. I'm gathering a, a nice batch of those. Um, and then over here is another button. With more stuff. And a null wave transmitter, okay. Oh, I just pushed that out. That was not my intention, but no harm, no foul, I suppose. Okay, so now if I go back into the main area, I probably can talk to a few people. I still don't know how to get in here. This is a mystery to me. There must be a hatch somewhere, because otherwise I don't see how I would be able to get in here, because there's no opening to shoot with the foam darts. And I don't see any other way of getting in there. Where is this supposed to be? This is space, right? Yeah. And there's a corpse on the other side. So let's check out. So I now I'm marked a weaver, even though he doesn't even know I'm here. That's a good way to remember that that is there as well. So let's go back up and talk to Sarah. I want to check this out as well, because you can actually request an operator, and this, these guys can probably help out in. Transfer oh, fixing up people. Because these guys can heal people. Please stand clear of aperture. Now that we are secure here, we can hold out indefinitely. If you send other survivors here, I will protect them. Okay, so that's Always good to know. Something was bound to go wrong. So this is kind of the. Imagine this. So this is kind of the bloodborne situation where you can send people over here to safety, although I should probably not send the criminal that I still have locked up somewhere to here. 
With the Reployer Reployer password, we can actually get into this terminal now as well. So Gus Magil's terminal. And he has two files. Cage controls. Oh. That's... Those are these things. Finally. There we go. We can open that up. And then of course there's two leverage three cargo pieces in the way. So let's just put that... Did I... I always hate it when I don't see that there's still an object over here before I kill myself with it. Okay, so more boxes over here. Another Nero mod and the Disruptor Stun Gun Fabrication Plan, which is weird to get now because I don't think I had that already. Because now I get that, but that's pretty much one of the first weapons you get. And then another Q beam, don't mind if I do, and two Typhon Lures. That is nice. I'm gonna upgrade the Q beam one more time into firing time to get that to the max of 10 seconds. So now we can fire this thing for 10 seconds uh, at once, well, in one go. Then uh, I think we're gonna dismantle a few more things. And that gets us a bunch more metal. Do I need to make something over here? So there we go. The Swap to Stun Gun was in fact new. Uh, could make a few more. Weapon upgrade kits. So I made two more weapon repair kits, uh, weapon upgrade kits, and two more neuromods. So neuromods help us with getting hacking three. So there we go. Uh, and then the weapon upgrade kits will all go into the Q beam. So one more into power. And you know what? I'm gonna work towards that uh, trophy. So let's put the rest into the disruptive stun gun, reducing the recharge rate to a second. Now I'm also thinking that I didn't drink all the booze just yet. So if I just drink one of every type of booze in here, this might seem a bit weird, but I feel like that's gonna be the uh, way of getting the trophy from eating everything. So bourbon, then the Kings and Way sparkling wine, the, uh, that's, that's, uh, the moonshine, and the vodka, who actually has, which actually has the same image. The oh, there we go, Transtar Guma. So that was I only hadn't drunk the vodka and the moonshine probably because I'm pretty sure I drank wine and the bourbon. That's a trophy for eating everything, at least once. So that's nice. I'm gonna have to check out the quest log now because I don't really know what to do. Well, this this is this is fun. I love the state. The status screen just says. Drunk. Great! You have little to no Typhon material in your system as well, which is also great. But... Objective. So we still need to get Alex's arming key, and that's supposed to be in life support, actually. So I opened up one more container over here that I apparently missed. Uh, there's only one supply crate, but with another weapon upgrade kit. So there's a lot of stuff in this uh, area. So next up we need to go to life support because that's where Alex's arming key is supposed to be. So to do that, we need to find a way towards that and I kind of forgot about it. Oh, and Darcy Maddox also died apparently. I'm, I'm sorry about that, Darcy. Upgrade get back into the disruptive stun gun. There we go. Recharge rate is now 0.75 seconds. So through this area, there is a door towards life support. There's also a few other areas that we need to revisit for the plentitude of side quests we still have. But I might as well check out life support while we're at it. So... Micah, not sure you got your transcribe. Morgan is making her way to you now. Warning you and anyone else, so you don't shoot her accidentally. Or... on purpose. Morgan? <laughs> I thought she was Earthside. Why would you think I was Earthside? Morka? Mikhaila? I didn't think to check your transcribe. <clears throat> Not sure how you got here. I thought you left because... Never mind. Airlocks and lifts are locked up. Like my lungs. Paraplexis. I'm even seeing the spots now. You were right. <clears throat> even if I could get my booster shots from my office. But I think I can get us out. By cycling the main reactor to bypass the lock bomb. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but... We'll just get here, alright? Okay, so... This is an area that we cleared out before. I think I even read the emails here. 
Yeah, I think we did. So that's the spare part stuff that we found here. But there apparently are new enemies here as well. So there's at least one down there. And at least a thermal phantom over there. We know, we know now how to deal with these guys. So that's not going to be too bad, I think. So this guy has fallen down. Um, I probably could sh shoot him in the face. There we go. He did get a hit in. So that was too bad. Okay. But nothing I can't heal off with the 20,000 food items I still have in my inventory. So that is fine. And we get plenty of stuff from his switching corpse pack. I'm just going to check this corpse because that's going to be easier. Okay. So in the take phantom. Nothing too bad. Let's check these guys. Ari is apparently new because I'm pretty sure I've been here already. Yeah, these guys were still were already here. The weapons I probably didn't pick up because I couldn't. And I've been in there as well. But this... No matching keycard for the security office. Hey, operator, could you help me out, buddy? C can you open up the door? There's not a weapon upgrade kit in there. So if I can get in there... That would be nice. I could actually... No, I can't hack these things. So I really need the keycard for this. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go check downstairs. And grab the food along the way. So there's definitely something down there. But I'm wondering what it is. Because I can't turn around while I'm doing this. Ow! Jesus Christ. Okay, that's not good. So there's a nightmare over here. And it almost killed me in one hit, so I definitely need a medkit if I can find a freaking medkit. There we go. Let's string that up and I'm gonna go to full health, because otherwise I might actually die. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away now. Can I stun this thing? Ow, Jesus Christ. So I'm just checking the bestiary. <laughs> for the first time. A nightmare is immune to EMP and stun, so that's nice to know. Uh, he is weak to psychic for some reason, but that's not going to help me either because I don't have any psychic abilities. Don't have any psychic abilities. I'm going to eat up to full again. Because uh, he hits me close to death every single time. Ow, Jesus Christ. I'm going to go through my, my items really quickly like that. Um... He stopped me. I'm gonna run in here. Maybe even repair this thing. Repair, please. It's gonna start getting hit by that then. I think I... What the hell's going on? I think I'm getting attacked by something else now. Yeah, okay. So that was something. Whew. I think I'm gonna do fine health-wise. Ah, uh, well, that was a surprise. Somebody put a fan, a nightmare right, right next to the freaking elevator exit. That was a nasty spawn, wasn't it? Oh, great. Oh, freaking great. Might as well take out that guy in a second then as well. There's a freaking Technopath in here as well. Um, you know what? Let's just do that. We can start with an EMP charge. There we go. And then get the stun gun. Which now does enormous damage to the Technopath. There's also a Voltaic in the background. You can see him there. This might sound strange coming from me, but I admire what you did. You didn't have to help Chief Elazar and her people in the cargo bay, especially considering, well, considering you intend to destroy the station. You gave them some hope, even if it's brief. I'm still hoping there's a way of getting them off the station, which I'm not exactly sure there actually is. Uh, I could fix the escape pods to actually help 
us out, so that would be... Well, them out and not us. That might also be an interesting option. Might want to try that. So there's a reactor control room over here. So let's try and access that. Seems to be another area, the power plant. There we go. I know you did not come down here much, but... <laughs> I can track you through your bracelet and guide you from here. Okay. Um, new area. Can we start... Oh. Hello. A teleport. So that's the mind control dude. So we can probably take care of him. There's stuff floating... Ah, oh, but this guy is outside in space. That's fine. Okay, so now we can get in here. Doesn't seem like there's any other uh, typhons around. Can't access the security station, but I do have hacking now. Which is nice, so let's take the weapon upgrade kit. Good cop, bad cop, don't really need to read that, but how does this work? Is it the same as with hacking one? I'm assuming. It actually gave me a lot of time. Oh, gold. Oh no, it didn't give me a lot of time. Okay, ow. Let's try that again. And then the one down there, this is easier. X, there we go. There we go. Got a bit of feedback, but that's nothing. So let's download the area map. Then we can take a look at that. Uh, an engineering control. All personnel required to check in with security when entering or leaving the power plant and engineering control areas. Ground access. There we go. So that opens that up. And we can now check out the map as well. How big is this area? Ooh. Well, not that big, but... Yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Holy crap, there's five levels of this. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> so this is definitely one of the bigger areas in the game, then. More stuff, because I've went through a lot of resources. I have a lot of resources as well, so it doesn't really... It's not really a problem that I went through a lot of them right then and there. Just going to quickly check with the psychoscope. And get Brenda Cabrera. More Q-beam cells, which are always nice. Monitoring. And then we have... Engineering offices. Jesus Christ. Ah, that was a quick draw. I heard it moving. And I swapped to the shotgun. And shot him. Like at a really quick reflex there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Another weapon upgrade kit. They're throwing these at our at us right now because I think I can get the trophy. Even you were now. looking for me? Yeah. Uh, what's the story on Michaela's office? I filed an incident report. Oh, I'm sure it's a page turner, but I don't have time. I need to get a crew on the other side of that breach. So what's the problem? Problem is, it's blacker than my butthole at the bottom of a well in there. The grounding resistor malfunctioned. Swap a new one, and you should have your lights. Is that all? Hey, you sound rattled. What's up? I tried replacing the resistor yesterday. And? And it just melted into some kind of goo. It smelled like fried ass. Oh, shit, man. That's not in the report, is it? <sighs> I need to get some sleep. My shift's over anyway. Maybe you'll have better luck. Okay. So there was a mimic that went... I think it came from monitoring. And then went down the elevator. <laughs> And I broke this window, and now it's, like, steaming in my face. Which it has never done before. Okay, so that was a nice indication that it's... It's electrified. What was that? So it's arcing, but... Ah, the weapon is offline. Oh, damn it. And I got hit immediately there. So I would need to block it off somehow. So I'm not going to do that just yet. So let's head down. This is a bit loud to my taste. Uh, shotgun equipped. Even if it's just a mimic, I'm going to sh... Yep. Yep. Th but this is nice, isn't it? They're on a field trip. Okay, they went down. So that's that. The thirds are doing something, but there's way too many enemies to actually... Ow! 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 Oh god. That's right before it's gonna hit me. That's gonna kill me if I don't. Hey asshole! 
Okay, I think I one shouldered him. That was nice. I'm gonna have to be careful now. I'm gonna have to be careful now. I was looking through the psychoscope to get a better look at where the enemies are. Oh, that was um, that was um, an electric mimic, or the greater mimics, mimics probably get charged by the 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 elemental phantom. So that's a voltaic. So how does? Oh God. I don't know if I hit the Voltaic there. Seems like it's stuck. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Are you serious? Okay. Ah, uh, that should have missed me there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting assaulted from all sides now. Um, so it's full on combat. I got that. In the face. That's that. And now the Voltaic is coming, of course. There we go. Finish that guy off. Okay. That was a bit too much excitement for me. You know my talk about resources? It really pays off to store those. Because that could just kill every single one of those with a few shotgun blasts. I think there was like four phantoms and... An equal number of mimics. That was interesting. Let's glue, glue the floor here. Is that enough? This little bit of fire needs to be extinguished as well. Come on, buddy. Meet the end of my shotgun if there are any mimics left. Because I feel like I probably took care of most of those. They just kept coming. I don't need... I don't want to drop down there. There's a lot of stuff in here. But I probably can't open up this just yet so part storage definitely something i want to go in but we need to talk to michaela in the reactor control room we cleared out everything over here uh together with the uh you know the turrets helped the kind of freaking out that's more shotgun ammo always nice <laughs> oh and a science operator <laughs> A science operator. Hi Penny, I sent you some goods with this operator. Hope they are helpful in your work. Please share your results with my department when you can. Thanks, Peter Coleman. Could repair this thing. Um, does, would that actually help? Because I have a few spare parts. So I can repair... Oh, that was, that was a nice sound, by the way. So this thing has a few supplies, but he's... Okay, bye now. Don't lose me. That's right, you'll be locked out. Okay, Morgan, you'll need its supervisor key card. Dahlia Brooks, in the coolant room. She did not make it, but she'll probably have her card on her. Okay, so that's a new objective. I'm gonna take a little break uh, before we head into that. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Prey. And when we get back, we're gonna get the supervisor key card and get uh, to Talia. Uh, no, not to Talia, but Talia has the key card, but to Michaela over there in the reactor control room. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye. Hello.